the gym, gonna do some fasted cardio, and then I have a full day ahead of me with birthday festivities for family members. And then we're going back to the gym later for round two. We'll be lifting shoulders and hip thrusts because it's Saturday. Wait, Lowen. Oh my god, I'm not even like really like low carbs. Had a new Lowen weigh in. New weigh in. Holy shit. Had a new weigh in low today. Very exciting. That is all. I need to go do cardio because this is not functioning. It's too early. Okay, bye. Oh my goodness. So I just finished up my cardio and I am like disgusting. This is a hoodie and it's like drenched. But oh my gosh. So it was really grueling, um, of course. Um, I'm not saying like I expect cardio to be easy or anything, but I really focused the whole time on trying to push myself and not focus on like, oh my gosh, this is so hard. Like I'm not going to be able to finish. I can't believe I have 30 minutes left. I can't believe I have 20 minutes left. I was like, just like in my head, I was just like, just keep going. Like, just don't focus on it. Like you're fine. Just get it done. Like you're supposed to do your cardio, just get it done. Like, don't worry about it. Like the last like eight minutes, like you can see the light at the end of the tunnel, but I was like, really like I had to slow it down a tiny bit, catch my breath and like kicked it back up. And then I like made eye contact with the guy that I see at the gym all the time. He's like a regular, we've never talked or anything, but he just like looked over and saw me and just like gave me a nod kind of like you got this and I was like yeah like yeah I do I do have this and just like I don't know that was it was just so like something like a small gesture but it just made like a huge difference for me and I just was like I only have two minutes left like I got this the last minute I like bumped up the intensity just like a little bit and was like yeah like I can do this and it just like I don't know it just goes to show that small gestures that like small polite gestures or small positive gestures can make such a huge difference for someone like you never know like I'm sure he like probably has no idea that that like gave me the extra motivation to finish my cardio so just like be nice <laughs> to people in the gym and I know that I can get really frustrated sometimes with people but I just have to remind myself that like everyone's in there for a reason and you know, just to be polite and to be nice and be a positive influence for others. So I am going to head to the store because when you are on prep, you live at the grocery store. I'm going to pick up some things. And then I think Hannah is coming over. So I'm really excited to see her and after I shower and actually wash my hair, guys. I'm washing my hair. So that's really exciting. Um, so I will see you guys in the next clip. This is what you came for Lightning strikes every time she moves And everybody's watching her But she's looking at you
Um, so I wanted to do a, another quick little prep update. This is more real time, so I will be um, hopefully filming and then uploading either tonight or tomorrow. I am currently two and four weeks out. And my first show is kind of like a warm up show. And I don't think we're gonna do any sort of like real like peak, any sort of peak week. That'll be more so for the show in four weeks. I almost did two, four weeks. For me personally right now, feeling great. I had headaches last year um, during my last prep. I haven't had anything like that this year. I haven't had any real, real bad days. I had one or two where my energy was really low and it was really irritable, but I was able to kind of snap out of it and it's not like an everyday occurrence. So energy's great, um, lifts have been pretty decent, food is pretty good. Right now I can't complain, but because we're two weeks out, what I wanted to do today was go through like a checklist and uh, go through the things that you need on your show day bag. And this is actually a lot more important than you would think. Let's jump on into the checklist. So I think the most important thing you can have is your ID and your NPC card that way you can show proof of who you are and you have your card showing that you have proof um, that you can compete and you might also want to have proof of registration uh, just in case something else that you may not think of is some sort of flip-flops or sandals something that you can change in and out of from your heels you want to have dark clothes or like something really loose fitting so it doesn't mess up your tan you could also have a robe if you um, don't have any sweatpants um, and you'd prefer just to in and out <laughs> just wrap everything up if you want a robe also you want to make sure that you have a phone charger because uh, you'll be taking a lot of pictures with your phone, you'll probably be texting a lot of people, scrolling through Instagram, your phone can die really, really quickly. And there are a lot of competitors at the same venue as you, um, so sometimes there isn't a lot of wall space, so you might even consider having like an extra charger. I don't know if you've ever seen those, but they're like the little portable chargers, so I have that just in case I don't have access to an outlet. You want to make sure that you have any of your hair appliances, um, so like curling iron, straightening iron, your makeup, um, brushes, uh, dry shampoo, anything that you might need for your hair and for your face. Going along with that, you might want uh, like a mini toothbrush um, or those like little flossers just if anything gets in your teeth, you can have something to get that out. Another thing that's really important is to have kind of like a... Um, an oh shit kit. I don't know if you've ever heard of this, but here is mine. It's just a little bag and inside I have like a little mirror, mini sewing kit, focus. So scissors, string, I have oil absorbing pads for your forehead, like if you need to blot or anything with your makeup, tissues, safety pins, Floss, just in case. Extra crystals for like your suit. Um, fabric glue, just if anything happens to your bikini. So I wear contacts. I bring an extra contact and I also bring contact solution, band-aids, and like Q-tips. So just in case anything happens, if you get blisters, that you have some sort of first aid with you. Going along with that, just extra hair ties, bobby pins, anything like that. I bring my tanning stuff with me, I tan tana, so I bring that and I keep it in a bag just in case it explodes, it only explodes in the bag and it doesn't get anything else dirty. And then this will save your life. Baby wipes, your hands get filthy from the tan. So I'm just constantly, constantly, constantly like wiping my hands down before I touch anything you don't want to wash your hands because you can like splash and get uh, like your hands, like this part of your hand will get really white compared to this part. So baby wipes are amazing for everything. I had a friend just tag me on Instagram. They just tried Collios for the first time. Loved it. Noticed that. If you haven't tried a Collios yet, you need to. Okay, so. When I was talking about how I keep my tanner in a plastic bag, it's also super important that you do that with your bikini as well, just in case anything explodes in your 
backpack, your bag, whatever, that your bikini is safe. If you're flying and you're bringing your bikini with you, you want to make sure that you have your bikini in your carry-on, just in case your bags don't make it to your destination, that you at least have your bikini with you. If you have access to a backup bikini, because sometimes we'll say that your seat bottom is too little or it doesn't fit right, and so you want to make sure that you have a little more of a yes, like a conservative backup, or so that you've gotten a print in before, so you have something you can on stage on. Same thing with heels. If you have um, straps on your heels, and for some reason maybe you want those straps white, or you have a backup set of heels that you can go on stage with. Like I said before, you want to make sure that you have your purse, your wallet, your ID, your federation card, like your NPC, NGA, W, whatever. You have that card saying that you are a member of the federation and you can compete. Um, and in your wallet, you want to make sure that you have a decent amount of cash. If you're getting a coach's pass the night before or if you need cash for whatever, you're paying for your card there. They only, most of the time, only accept cash. So you want to make sure that you're not having to scramble around and go to an ATM and paying like $8 worth in fees. You want to make sure that you have all of that with you. Check the website, they'll tell you how much the coaches pass, how much tickets are, everything like that. And if that's not listed, then you can call the organizer or the promoter and they will let you know. For the show day, you want to make sure that you have some sort of resistance band or pump up. You can have something like this. I actually prefer bands, so that's what I will be bringing. Uh, it's just a little easier to pump up. Sometimes they won't let you take weights backstage. So again, you have to check the organization or check the show's website and see what their rules are for backstage and the pop up room. Something that's really important too is your food for show day, bag, post show, and maybe even um, the day before if you're traveling. You want to make sure that you have enough food with you. I keep everything in like little baggies and I have like specific meals ready to go. I'll show you guys more um, when we get to make something like that. You want to make sure that you also have extra food. This is really important. When your coach may say, you know, we need an extra 40 grams of carbs or 50 grams of carbs. You want to make sure that you have that food with you and you're not scrambling around trying to go to the grocery store, trying to prepare rice or whatever it is. Make sure that you have extra food with you. And you want to make sure that you have your scale or like measuring cups, depending on how you measure your food and extra batteries, just in case you don't want your food scale to die the day of show or like before the show. So you want to make sure that you have all your bases covered. You're not stressing. You have everything that you need on show day. Some sort of silverware with you so you can eat. So you're not just like taking your Tupperware or like whatever to the face. You want to be somewhat classy. And what's also really important is post show. If you don't have friends that are bringing you food, you want to make sure that you have your own food ready to go. Again, talking about just being prepared for anything, having like an umbrella, um, or maybe even a full length mirror just in case the venue you have or the venue that you're at doesn't have anything like that. You want to make sure that all your bases are covered. Something that's also really important is having your cups prepared ahead of time. So you do not want your can to run. So the ladies, you will, I mean, some people have funnels. I prefer cups, I think they're easier, but I just get like a big thing of them in a couple days, or maybe even a week out, I'll cut holes in all the bottom so you don't get streaky with your tan. If you are staying at a friend's house or you're staying at a hotel, wherever you're going, make sure that you bring extra sheets, extra towels, because if you get a or tan on anything, most likely you'll be paying for that or you'll have some friends who are not very happy with you. So bring um, dark sheets or just any extra sheets that you have around your house and extra pillowcases as well. Um, also, sometimes you may not have time to go back to the hotel or go back to wherever you're staying after finals because sometimes the show can run really late. So uh, it's a good idea to have an extra change of clothes. It might be just like a dress that you can throw over your bikini or something that you can just change into really easily. And then lastly, um, a couple days before, I would go ahead and make sure if you have any appointments to go ahead and confirm them. So if you have any makeup, hair, uh, hotel confirmations, just go ahead and call. Make sure uh, that everything is confirmed, the time, the date, and where the location is going to be. 
So those are all my bikini checklists or show day checklist items. And I hope this was helpful. If it was helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any suggestions, if you think I left anything out, please let me know. I would love to uh, add anything more to my suitcase. So I hope you enjoyed this vlog. It contained a shoulder workout, can you please? Yeah, it had a shoulder workout and some cardio feel. So we are two and four weeks out. So excited, I can't wait to get on that stage. I've been working really hard and I just I can't I can't wait to get back up there. So look out for some more vlogs and let me know if there's anything that you'd like to see from me these next couple weeks. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. You can click the little link down there, comment below, and as always guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate all the support, it means a lot to me. Alright, I'll catch you in the next video. Bye guys.